Hey, how are you? Um, I know it's kind of late, and, uh, kinda, well, <laughs> it's more than a little late. It's a lot late. Um, had, uh, we'll start with this. Had a little trouble, you know, getting things uh, going um, this weekend um, for uh, a number a number of different reasons. Um, again, if you've been following along at all, uh, just been so, so terribly um, sick, and um, it's just difficult to, difficult to, to do anything um, when you're uh, in that state. And, um, and, and so um, through thanks to uh, Dad and your many prayers, uh, I did manage to um, uh, Sunday start to um, improve a little bit. Um, but uh, it has been um, <coughs> quite a challenge. And then um, I thought I would try yesterday. Uh, but was an, <laughs> unable to get internet service because, um, well, uh, yeah, uh, hadn't paid it, so I um, had to wait until the first so I could pay the internet so I could join you here. So here we are, and um, uh, I, I thought I might have let this um, topic pass. There's um, uh, clearly there's a lot of people out there, um, and again, if I sound uh, quite a bit different to you, it's because it, it is. Uh, again, a number of different things occurred. Uh, my primary mixer has died, apparently, and um, uh, m many of the other tools have are not playing nice. And um, <clears throat> and again, again even um, uh, this evening, it was um, uh, challenging and co was difficult to get things started. So we're just we're here, and we're um, I'm I'm doing this again mostly out of uh, obligation because I feel um, compelled, and I I feel um, like I need to. This is um, uh, something I haven't been able to put down for a number of weeks now, um, and Dad has really been pushing me to um, mm, spend some time with us. So here we are, and uh, I want to go through as much as I can give you, um, or at least as, as much as I know, which is not, <laughs> not much. So let's um, let's begin with this. So there is, um, you know, certainly you can see on the screen, there is, uh, unless you've been uh, living under a, under a rock, and, and if you have, congratulations, you're doing better than me. <coughs> but um, there is, coming in just one week from now, <coughs> uh, a um, full uh, total solar eclipse in the United States, which is the second one in the U.S. in seven years. Uh, and a lot of people are freaking out, and you're seeing a lot of um, news everywhere. Uh, everything from, uh, oh my God, it's the end of the world, to, um, you know, uh, oh, there's this happening and that happening, and uh, all um, sounds really low, and you have it turned up all the way. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm trying, I'm doing my best. I have everything jacked as much as I can. I'll get right up on the microphone and get as close as I can. Um, I'm going to have to make a change um, before the next one. So apparently what I'll have to do is <laughs> make, a, make a change uh, as soon as I can because this is um, obviously not working. Um, basically, you know, what's happened, my primary mixer has gone out. I was using a secondary mixer, which is just a small interface to get from there to the computer so that you could hear it. And unfortunately, what's happened um, in the interim is that little um, digital mixer has gone um, belly up. Okay, so getting closer helped. Excellent. Okay. So, um, I'll just continue then. Um, and again, I'll warn you now that, um, I may not be able to spend a lot of time this evening on it, although there's a lot I have to cover. And so, um, you'll see that it's called, um, episode 24.1, <clears throat> assuming that I'll probably be back over the next couple of days, hopefully, um, to continue this as best I, I'm able, um, to share with you what I, I think I'm getting here, right? So, the first thing is... Um, well, let me do this and just say, um, invite dad, uh, to be with us. Dad, um, thank you so much for your spirit of truth and for the amazing gift of not only salvation in the name of Jesus, but the opening of the doorway that we might have, um, communion and d deep intimate relationship with you. And thank you so much, um, for loving us in spite of our failures. And I just, um, I ask that your spirit speak through me and to give me the words that um, you want me to say um, and to stop when you want me to stop. And that um, this reaches exactly the people that it needs to reach <clears throat> at exactly the right moment. And for this and all, so many things, I thank you. Um, Dad, I love, I love you so much. And Jesus, you're, 
my very best friend, and I love you so much. Thank you. Um, so we've been waiting. Lo, well, this is our God. We have waited for him, right? And um, again, there's um, <clears throat> a lot of a lot of chatter in the um, in every corner of the world right now about what this could mean. Does it mean anything? Um, sh should we just um, you know, is it a big meh, right? Or or what? So let's take a look here. So what are we talking about? Okay, so um, we've got um, the second um, in seven years, and there's a whole bunch of, bunch of stuff that we can get, get into with that, um, of a total solar eclipse. Um, now, again, if you are um, uh, sticking with the mainstream um, type of cosmology, then this is simply the result of um, the Earth passing between uh, the Sun and Earth and, and um, causing uh, a shadow to cast. If you have spent uh, more time than that um, and uh, question what they've given you, you probably are already well aware that shadows don't work that way. They don't go down to a nice point. They actually spread outward. And so the entire I uh, idea of a umbra and penumbra is patently ridiculous for one thing. And for another, the idea that the sun is exactly 400 times bigger than the moon, which is exactly 400 times closer, is preposterous. And well, that's to me. Okay. So again, you're uh, entirely welcome to your views. And I am not going to tell you what... Um, is uh, right or what is wrong I can only tell you what I think and um, we're going to continue with that throughout um, uh, throughout this entire uh, premise here which is that um, uh, you know I don't know I, I don't know but uh, I can tell you what I think and um, the one thing I know for sure right is that um, absolute certainty is the imminent domain of frauds and fools <laughs> and um, and there are a lot of people who are absolutely certain what this means and I'm going to tell you for sure here's what I know it means it means there's going to be an eclipse we know that's going <laughs> to we, we can guarantee right that's going to happen and then uh, from there right there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, conjecture and speculation about what's going to happen what does it mean right um, everything from it means absolutely nothing and in fact if you just go over to our you know friendly neighborhood YouTube here and take a look you can see that all kinds of people have all kinds of things to say about it <clears throat> and uh, from every every corner of uh, uh, the the netverse right so um it doesn't matter whether people are um spiritual or religious or non-religious or anti-religious everybody's got something to say about it and everybody's got uh, their thoughts um and um so i have mine too uh, and i wasn't going to share them with you it's not that my thoughts are more important than anybody else's but i um uh unfortunately got um you know a number of them show up in my um you know, my suggested feed, and I watch them, I'm like, holy crow, <laughs> no, 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 not like that, um, and so I guess if, if we're all going to be wrong, I guess I'll put my version of wrong out there, but I can at least tell you what I think I know, right, and, um, there is this, so w one of the things that, um, w we can get, right, is, um, well, does it mean, um, nothing, and, uh, again, certainly, um, uh, certainly people would, um, uh, th there's a group e even, and especially I, I think within, um, the Christian community, right. Um, that would, um, um, let's see here. I don't want to, let's say I, I forget how to do it here because I've been doing it, um, here we go. on my iPad for forever. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, there was a guy here that, um, again, w one of many, um, people right but um have their uh things that they want to say uh about um about this i mean badly okay so here's what this guy has to say and again i uh, just want, i don't care right it's like i'm not bagging this guy i'm just um fighting for the faith right um he's one of many um and so um, this episode of fighting for the faith is sponsored by the okay so he's one of he's one of a group that um uh, hardcore i would say since uh, cessationist right he thinks that um all the gifts of the spirit ended um at the time of the apostles and anybody that says otherwise is full of crap and probably full of demons um um 
a lot of this stuff drawn from uh, Welcome to another Catholicism. Fighting for the faith. My name is Chris Rosebro. I am your servant in Jesus Christ. This is the channel that compares okay, what people I don't, are saying in the name of God to the word of God. I don't doubt that, but so I will say that he, he, and along with other people in his his stripe, um, their uh, bread and butter, what they um, you know go through, is basically um, anybody that you know uh, claims to have um, a relationship with God, but basically they like to shut them down and go, no, you can only do that through the church. Um, and so if you don't um, follow every letter of what's in the Bible and ignore everything else, then you're not having a real relationship. If you're having a relationship, that's not a real relationship. It's very confusing, um, but it is very, um, you know, Calvinist, and it goes very, very well with Catholicism. Coming up on April 8th in uh, in the United States, uh, 2024, and so, uh, we're I don't, don't want to spend a lot of time because I don't, I don't need to strike from him. No, nothing that I do these days is monetized. My entire channel has been monetized. Channels and NAR... Uh, they are as a new apostolic that reformation claiming that the uh, 2024 eclipse that god is speaking a message of doom over the united states as a result of this eclipse it is not true the, the okay so he again he's absolutely certain it's not true now again is is uh god um uh but but is god not speaking to us is it just totally nothing well let's let's find out right what is what does the the word say well if we um just start with what um well, let's start at the very beginning shall we um and uh we know right that okay what's happening the uh, apparently according, according to what we're told the the um moon is crossing in front of the sun creating a shadow um, how, you know, or you could look at it the other way and say, well, um, there's something that's blocking, that's occluding the moon or occluding the sun, right? Uh, and keeping that light from hitting us. It may not be the moon, maybe some other body. It may be a black hole sun, according to uh, some people. I don't know, right? I'll tell, you, I'll tell you the truth. I don't know. But here's what I do know. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. I believe that. Um, it's up to you whether you do or not. The very first thing, first day, he said, let there be light. And there was light. And he separated light from darkness and he saw that it was good. But he did not make the sun and the moon or the stars on that first day. No, that was actually on the fourth day, which creates all kinds of questions. And I've got speculation on that as well. But it was actually after, right? After we have the vegetation and seed bearing plants, according to the kind. Then we have, let the lights be in the expanse of the sky to separate the day from the night or in the firmament. Um, they will what? Serve as signs and what? I'm at the uh, Holman Christian Standard Bible. I can change to King James. Um, and to something you're probably more familiar with, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. Okay, so then we have, um, giving down here again to the fourth day, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night. Okay, he's already done that. He's divided the day from the night already. But he separated the light from the darkness and the day light he called day and the darkness he called night. Right, we got that. Okay, so let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for what signs and for what seasons and for what days and what years so and let them be for lights in the firm of the heaven to give light upon the earth and it was so so this a secondary tertiary um fifth thought um for signs and seasons and days and years so um we have sorry we have happening um it appearing now in a, in a big X, or if you count the three last three in a row, big Tav, um, uh, a Hebrew letter uh, across the United States. Now, again, you can draw a lot into that, or you can draw nothing into it, right? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go the middle way here, which is to say, God said when I put them together, what is it for? Signs and seasons, and for days and years. Hmm. So uh, whether you want to call it uh, sky clock like Crow does, right? Or, um, you know, the, the celestial timepiece. Um, whatever you want to call it, uh, it is a perfect mechanism, and it keeps time. And um, one of the things that I've noticed in my research, and I've done quite a bit of it, you don't need to trust me on this. I'm not asking you to trust me on any of this, right? I'm just, <laughs> I'm just telling you what I think, right? Is uh, What I have seen is that most of the ancients, the further you go back, the closer they seem to be to understanding truth. And the further we get away from that, the further we seem to get away from both truth and understanding. And if we go all the way back, um, 
you know, we can poo-poo all we want, and, um, you know, even um, Christianity can go real hard on uh, don't look at the stars because, um, you know, you're worshiping the creation instead of the creator. I'm not worshiping it, right? <clears throat> but um, he said very clearly, right? How, so, uh, okay, so he put them in the sky for what signs and seasons and days and years, and did he w expect us then not to look or be accused of being into astrology? Is, is that right? He said, don't look. Um, so, uh, so uh, Jesus and Matthew, I'll break. Okay, so uh, Matthew 24, I already had it up here. Um, so Jesus says, right, he, he tells us, right, that... Um, Again, he, the first thing he says, watch out, no one deceives you. This is Matthew 24. They say, what are the, Master, what are the signs of your coming? What happens to the end of the age? And he goes into this whole thing. And we've talked about it here many times, right? You're going to hear wars, rumors of wars. See that you're not alarmed because all these things will take place, right? And that's happening right now. But the end is not yet. Nation's going to rise up against nation, kingdom against kingdom, famines and earthquakes in various places. It's happening. But what? All these are just the beginning of birth pangs. So uh, now we can say to those who say, hey, no one knows the day or hour, right? So what do you, what are you even doing? Why are you even looking at this, right? Um, is, is this um, is this something even that uh, followers should do? He told us no man knows the day or hour. Are you trying to sneak around him? Well, uh, no. I mean, because the, the, certainly the disciples were interested. They asked him. He, he, he didn't say shut up and don't think about it. He, he tells us, that gives us this whole chapter, right, uh, about this. Right? And, he, and he goes through all the signs, and he says, and, and this is what I want you to hear. Now, learn this parable from the fig tree. As soon as its branch becomes tender and sprouts leaves, you know that summer's near. In the same way, when you seek all these things, recognize that he is near, even at the door. Right? And I assure you that this generation will certainly not pass until all these things take place. And again, many people um, read that, and I think incorrectly. Again, I'm just telling you what I think. They read that to say, see, he was wrong. He said those that he would come back within this generation. But he starts out. Look what he says. He says, in, now learn the fair parable of the fig tree. When it happens, you'll when you see these things, you'll know that it's near at the door. So I tell you that this generation, the generation that sees these things, will not pass away until all these things take place. So he basically, I think, is telling us when you see it begin, it's going to happen quickly. Right? You don't have to wait. It's not going to be 200 years. Once we begin to see it happen, it's not going to be another 500 years, another 1,000, 2,000 years, we can reliably say, because Jesus said, and again, I, I don't think he's a liar, he said that this generation, the generation that sees this come, um, will uh, see it. They, they will in no wise pass away until all these things take place. Heaven and words, earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. Then he follows it up with saying, nobody knows the day of the hour, right? So he said, of that exact, now concerning that day and hour. So he just said, you'll know when it's coming. Right? You, you should see the signs, interpret the signs, but the exact day or hour, he says, I don't even know. Only my dad knows, right? And I've covered this one before, too, that I think it's because it's conditional, right? It's not about when exactly. It's about what, what ha when, when it happens, right? What, what is going to occur around it. When a condition is met, that is when it will occur, not when it hits the right time. But... He knows the right time, and he gave us a sign, right? Um, so, um, we, exactly. <laughs> so, um, when you say Trinity debunked, I'm going to say Trinity uh, confirmed, because only Dad knows, right? Only Dad knows. Even Jesus didn't know. So, Jesus is God. That's my take. Again, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm saying this is my this is my view on how I read it, right? Is that it, it confirms the Trinity? Is that Jesus said only Dad knows? He's the only one that knows, even though Jesus is God as well, because he came out of the Father. So anyway, that's that's my take on it. Don't want to cause an argument, right? Just that's my view on it. But the important part, right, is that he says, although we don't know the day or hour, you can't, you know, you don't set time, right? Be ready. And how do you be ready? By don't be deceived. How do you not be deceived? My sheep will know my voice. Right. So um, here's what I can say with some reliability is that um, the fact that this is happening is not nothing. <laughs> okay. So um, 
we, we can we can take um, this idea, right, that this is happening because Jesus, you know, in the very first chapter of the Bible, it said it's for what? Signs and seasons and days and years. And so we know that it's a sign of something. Okay, so we say, well, um, reliably, this happens somewhere on, on you know, on earth, um, some, some once a year, you know, every year, uh, and sometimes more than that. But where people live, ah, there's, a, there's the other thing, right? And so now we can say, um, you know, with some, um, with some uh, clarity, right, that there is, um, you know, um, people, right, in different places. And so the, if the sky is a you know, clock, it's a mechanism, then we can reliably predict these things. And uh, that's when people, you know, start calming down and go, oh, you know, it's just a celestial event. Don't worry, there's nothing happening. Except that, um, mm, yeah, but I can say, see, all right, that's, but that's, uh, my take is that just confirms it. They are separate beings, but, um, but they are one family. They're all of the same stuff, just like um, me, my wife, and my kid. We'd all be the same family, but we're separate individuals, but we can all sign my name. Hmm? Um, anyway, that's how I read it. doesn't, again, I don't, if you know, if you know the creator, that's all, it, man, know the creator and get to know Jesus. And, and that, that's, you know, all I got. Um, everything else, I think the spirit will lead you in truth. And if you ask, right? Um, if anyone asks wisdom, let them ask dad, right? And so um, I, I think the, the biggest thing is just not to be, um, we don't let ourselves be prideful, right? And let our ego think that we know for sure, because over time, I've come to the place where I always get in trouble when I think I know for sure. Um, but when I leave that room for dad to change my mind, right? And um, I know that it's him. It's not just like, oh, somebody told me. Um, anyway, point I want to get to right is that um so there's a lot of stuff going on here so we we can um we can touch on a whole bunch of different things right in that okay so for example um oh it's going to go through um seven places like there was seven towns named Salem the first one went to right so Salem means peace now there's seven towns um uh, named Nineveh that it's going through well of course Yahoo is going to go no no that's not true right well, here's what they do. They call it false, right? But they go through and they, you know, occlude it all at the beginning. They, all the, here's how how it works. Again, they're lying um, because they just can't. Uh, shadows don't work that way. Light does not work that way. Anyway, places named Nineveh. Now we're gonna go. Oh, we're, Wikipedia. That's confirmation for sure, right? We know that they're absolutely uh, reliable in every way. Of course not. W Wikipedia listed just six places in the United States named Nineveh. Oh my gosh! And you know, and uh, not, there's one in Nova Scotia that makes making seven, but that's okay. Um, so see, it's um, it's not real. It's false, right? Because ah, it was only six. So, yeah. <laughs> You know, they're always going to say no, guys. They're always going to tell you no. So if um, Snopes or Yahoo says their fact checker says it's false, it's true. And if they say it's true, it's guaranteed to be false. Okay, so, right, uh, interesting point. Um, uh, so what does Nineveh have, Nineveh have to do anything? Well, Nineveh is the town that Jonah was sent to. Um, um, uh, and he... Um, didn't want to, if you remember the, the, the book in the Bible called uh, the, the book of Jonah, um, God instructed him to go to uh, a city, the largest city uh, in pretty much in the east at the time, Nineveh, and uh, it was capital city, and to go there and to tell them not to repent, but to go there and tell them that within 40 days, God was going to destroy the city. And he didn't want to, um, because he knew that God was a merciful God, and he was afraid he would be embarrassed. And so um, everyone... Um, pretty much knows the story that he tried to run away from God and in so doing he um, there was a great storm and they cast lots to see who what the cause of the storm was and he he, he copped to it he said it's it's my fault they cast lots it came up on him he said yep I'm running away from God how do we get how do we get rid of the curse throw me overboard so they did and it says um, we're, we're often told the story of Jonah and the whale but actually it says a great fish a great fish came and swallowed him uh, we don't know exactly, you know, what that was. Could have even been Leviathan. Don't know, but we do know um, that he, um, after three days in the belly of the fish, again, another nod uh, to Jesus there, um, uh, being three days in the heart of the earth, then he spit him out 
on the sand. Um, interesting to note that this, and it was right there near Nineveh, interesting to note that uh, Nineveh worshipped the uh, god Dagon, a fish god. So when they saw a man come up out of the ocean getting spit up by a fish, that would have probably got their attention. It also appears um, through, um, you know, again, air quotes, science, science. Um, it also appears that uh, this message in about... Um, was it 456 BC, something like that, um, that uh, there was uh, an eclipse that accompanied this, also um, an earthquake. <clears throat> so that's an interesting uh, tidbit. <clears throat> and uh, But the interesting thing there is um, uh, 40 days. And um, and 40 days from April 8th is... Um, this is Saturday and happens to be dum, dum, dum. <laughs> uh, see what this doesn't show it but okay 40, 40 days uh, from April 8th is Saturday May 18 okay so um <clears throat> Dun, 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 dun. Oh, uh, International Astronomy Day, and also uh, dun, 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 dun. Mm -hmm. ah. All right. <clears throat> Uh, okay. All right. <clears throat> so I believe we have a uh, da, 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 May eight. I think we have a. Uh, oh, it's uh, it's I uh, I it's um sorry um. Uh, Muslim in the Muslim, but it's also a, um, a feast day here. So hang on. Dun, 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 dun. Passover April 30, which is one week before. Um, let's see. See, I'm looking dumb now because I, but I, because I'd gone 40 days exact. It's it's uh, I uh, I E I D, um, which also lines up with the um, uh, uh, solar lunar calendar. So we have uh, that Purim Passover on the 30th. Uh, dun, 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 that's a week, and then you get the second Passover. So. Um, it's the week following that, but it's I. So it's 30 days is one month passing, um, but 40 days after that um, is I'd, which is E-I-D. Uh, there we go. All right. So uh, extra long weekend starting on April 8th. Uh, okay. Until Shawal 3. There you go. So uh, in UAE, so two days for I'd. So starting April 8th. April 10th. See, I'm getting screwed up here because 39, 29 and 30 days, but it's exactly 40 days. And I followed this to uh, May 8th and there was a significant date there. But so maybe, maybe I'm screwed. Maybe, maybe I got to screw loose uh, because I followed it out and it worked out pretty well. Uh, because the thing that is that Jesus said um, when they ask for a... Um, uh, they asked for the uh, to show a sign. He said the only sign a uh, wicked gener generation is going to get is the sign of Jonah, the sign of the prophet Jonah. And then here we have um, this going over, you know, seven towns named Nineveh. Again, could, could be coincidence. I don't know. I'm not saying it means anything, but I am saying that uh, for sure uh, it means something to dad. Now, what does that mean? I don't know. He didn't tell me. I mean... You know, he said to watch, watch and pray, be watchful, right? Don't be caught um, unaware. And there's so many different things, you know, ha happening um, that kind of go, go around this that, uh, and so I'll research and figure out where I screwed that up because I know I, I have it on my calendar and I don't know why it's not show. Um, there's something that was exactly 40 days in there and I'm, I either can't remember it or I um, was looking at the wrong thing because I was like, oh, sign of the prophet Jonah, look, 40 days. Um, but we do know that, uh, you know, Nineveh is there. Uh, there are seven cities. 
Uh, so, you know, does the eclipse pass through uh, the cities named Nineveh? Yes, it passes uh, right through or uh, very, like, exactly or, you know, very near. It'll, it'll be um, visible from all seven if you include um, the one in um, um, Nova Scotia. Uh, or um, there is a... Um, there's a seventh in the United States that is unincorporated. So if you wanted to say that it's not really a town, yeah, you know, but whatever. Um, mm, that's not very helpful. This one, yeah, it's better. Um, so if I look here and um, see, I should have been better prepared. Um, but I really. Um, there's so many things happening. That basic, basically, what? Um, uh, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. So YouTube, I don't want to do that. Um, and again, I, I should have been better prepared and pull other stuff up um, because. But but I was. I did. It really kind of didn't intend to talk about this stuff. I figured there's plenty out there, right? But it's like everybody's sending everybody off. Everybody off on these wild goose chases and um trying to panic everybody and i just don't i don't think there's any reason to panic right um here we have conspiracies one of the things that i do note though and i found this interesting is that numerous states right um uh, new, numerous states uh, including texas have issued um emergency um they've de declared an emergency already right in advance of it and I thought that was very interesting. And then, um, in fact, a friend of mine, who is, um, bless her pointy little head, became the, the mayor of a town there in, in Texas, r right where my parents uh, live. And uh, my brother is there right now. And um, I, good, this thing is going right over their house. Um, and she picked us up. I, I, I recognized all the stuff here. Um, and uh, so she just picked us up off the wire and she just sent it out as the mayor uh, to her little town there. But, what, but um, I noticed that they're taking it um, very seriously. In fact, they're, they're asking um, people, to, they're, they're making some very strange arrangements again. And um, they're saying that they expect this is because there's a crowd, right? But cell coverage will likely be affected by the large number of visitors. What? No, that's not going to, that's not usually a thing. It's, um, it's not... Um, so, so, but what is going on? Okay, so they're going to say, so cell, cell service might be interrupted. Do not delay your shopping. Make sure you're stocked up on groceries, medical and household supplies and pet food. And uh, make sure you have your vehicle filled with gas. And don't schedule any appointments. A lot of schools are closing. Um, right? Get cash if you need it because cell service will affect ATMs. They're telling you that something is going down. Right. Very interesting. Um, and they are also launching um, NASA is launching sounding rockets um, uh, during that time. Also, and we're going to cover this one uh, in more detail, um, hopefully tomorrow, um, because, but I want to spend some additional time on this. They're kicking on CERN exactly during the time of the eclipse. Exactly during the time, because they, they just want to do some research, they say. OK. Nothing to see there. Oh, there's also um, what they call the devil comet coming at the same time. Uh, again, there's something happening. Now, again, what does it mean? Does, does it mean we're, we're kicking off at the beginning of the end? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. But, right, what, we're all, what we are told to do is to watch and pray, right, and, and uh, pay attention. I can tell you that for me, like, you know, I would say, uh, it's never been closer, <laughs> right? Uh, but uh, for sure, um, in the last, I don't know, couple of months, I've been, I mean, getting harder than nudged, like going, like the alarm is just going off, right? Just constantly um, to be ready. And I realized today, and that's partly, I think, why why um, I got nudged so hard to do this. I realized today that... Um, let, let's say, okay, um, I was going to touch on this one tomorrow, but I'll, I'll give you a little hint. Okay, so it was a similar event to this the last time that they had these, like, two um, uh, eclipses seven years apart like this. It was a big deal. It was during a time in, in the United States because, I mean, eclipses happen all over the world, right? I'm talking about eclipses in the U.S. The last time we had them like this, about 1811, 
right? <clears throat> and this was during a time uh, of um, re uh, religious revival. And this is the time when uh, William Miller uh, came up with Millwrights, and he was convinced that the God was going to return in 1844. And um, it is from this movement that Southern Adventists and a number of other um, Anabaptists came from, a number of other movements came out of this um, in the early 1800s. 1811 is when it began. And there was these um, two... Um, um, these two eclipses followed by the Great Madrid Earthquake. And, and the Great Madrid Earthquake is fascinating in that um, it was a massive, massive um, swarm of earthquakes, uh, m between two and 5,000 earthquakes, some of them up to, <laughs> like, uh, magnitude 8 in the middle of the United States. And it caused the, um, it caused the Mississippi River to flow backwards for a while. It was quite an event. Um, and um, also uh, involved some other celestial activity. And again, um, so they got shook up and there was a, 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 a bout of religious fervor um, uh, surrounding that. And it is um, suggested by um, some, and I would, so you could say many, but you know, again, everybody's suggesting everything, uh, but it, it is, um, when was that earthquake? I want to say it was 1812, 1814. It's called the New Madrid Earthquake, and you can, uh, it's a quick Google. It's out there. And, um, it's just not well, I mean, I never learned it in U.S. history, and it was huge. It was a big deal, um, and it caused all kinds of um, uh, destruction. Uh, during the time, and it, it uh, many people again thought that um, we were approaching uh, the end of the world at that time. Uh, so it was the New Madrid earthquake, and there is still the New Madrid seismic zone. Um, and if you um, uh, if you um, are a follower of a guy named Dutch Sense, uh, the only person I know who has um, successfully and continuously um, forecasted earthquakes. And the government hates him for it. <laughs> so he ended up kind of get, getting um, in the truth uh, movement adjacent because um, they, they were going after him just like they go after everybody who tells the truth. So clearly they know it's um, possible to forecast. They just want to say it's not. So there you go. So I wanted to give... Um, Let's just start here tonight. Um, I got all, all kinds of things going on. I'm starting to not feel well, and I and I, I feel really bad if I'm kind of teasing you, right? Um, and just starting and say, oh, there's more stuff, but I will be back. I promise. Um, but uh, th there is so much to go into here that um, I'm I'm going to tell you again. My take is something is happening. Will we see it? I don't know. I I don't, I don't know. But I will say this. Um, I had a friend of mine call me um, in the weeks leading up to the thing um december 22 um um 2012 and you know and everybody was worked up about that and um so uh you know he called and, and i was i think concerned enough right that i'm i wanted to stay away from the coast right? i hunkered down at home didn't didn't want to travel because yeah you never know and um i just felt like stay away from the coast you know so i did that um and then um but when he called me and he asked me what, what I, you know, did I see anything coming? And I said, I don't know. I said, I don't see any, anything big. And he goes, well, let me ask you this. He goes, do you see anything past it? In which I found an interesting question because he knows me well enough to know I can usually kind of peek around the corner just a little bit or at least get a sense. And I, it did bother me. And I, everything seemed dark. Like I just couldn't seem to peek around the corner. I said, hmm, that's interesting. And he goes, yeah, me too. And, um, and I think he t was looking for... Um, confirmation that you know, I think he really thought it was going to kick off then and I, I just didn't get a sense that it was going to fully kick off but we would get a sense of something and and I think if we look backwards right and again hindsight being 2020 and all that and you know certainly you can do the Noster dumbass thing and, and believe that um, you know from any kind of um, you know vagary that you can pull something out of it uh, but it does seem, right, from just from observation, but that the world really hasn't been the same since then. Something happened um, that made everything sort of tumble thereafter, you know. And um, so I, I, if you ask me, did something happen? I would say, yeah, I, I, would, I, I would say that the world has not been the same since. No, was it what was predicted? There was going to be this great cataclysmic, you know, like the Hollywood movies? No, that didn't happen. And I wasn't really anticipating that. 
I don't really know if I anticipate that here, although there could be um, some anomalies, right? There, um, NASA's making a big deal about it. They're making a, they're, they are making a big deal. Like there could be, uh, again, uh, solar flare. You, there could be uh, electromagnetic storm, EMP type thing, knock your um, ability to communicate out. And here's what I want to get to, right? I realized this week that if that happened, if it was, let's say, for example, there was a big earthquake that happened um, during or immediately following that, right? Just like, um, just like in the 1800s. And if that happened, happened, right, what would be my reaction to it? I, I think I would be shook, <laughs> to coin a phrase. Now, I, I would know, um, I wouldn't panic because I would, you know, know where, I, where me and dad are, and I would know that it's dad. Hey, shut up. Um, but I would, um, it, it would, it would shake me, right, if, if it really did uh, kick off. So, um, yeah, schools are closed, but um, yeah, it's very interesting. And, um, uh, there's a whole, I love you too. There's a whole lot of stuff that's going on that again, it seems like they have some hmm, heads up on and, and they're, um, Oh, Hey, awesome dude. So good to see you. It really is having a moment. Um, <clears throat> so, um, yeah, there's enough noise about it that, um, my prediction is, right, it's going to be a very interesting event, and um, there will probably be enough that goes on that will make people panic, right? So, um, and then, you know, um, uh, like our friend, uh, unindoctrinated, I like it, um, sir, yeah, they're probably just going to try to take credit for it for whatever happens, right? Um, uh, wh whether that's, uh, you know... Um, Carrington type event or anything else, um, you know, that the uh, it's going to, you know, shake people up and there's um, whatever happens, there's going to be um, a bunch of lies about it. Right. So here's my take. Don't panic. Right. Uh, probably a good idea if they're telling, you know, if they're telling you to get water and food and gas, probably not a bad idea. Right. Always good to be prepared. Um, but don't panic. Right. And um, but keep your eyes, keep your eyes peeled. I, I'm hoping and here's what I want to do. Um, like I said, um, it, this thing, literally the line of totality goes right over my parents' house. And so, uh, my brother's there, um, and, uh, so I think I'm going to have him live stream and then I'll stream it. Right. So, um, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> hey, oh, um, fam, um, yeah, our music. Uh, buddy here was saying that um, he, he saw me make a, a joke in the Daily Wire chat the other day and it cheered him up. Um, yeah, I, 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 you know, I bumped into, weirdly enough, I bumped into um, somebody at um, Ted Coningsby channel, which is a flight. And they they, uh, they do daily um, live streaming of um, military flights coming out of um, the air bases in the, in the UK. And I, was, I started watching that because of, you know, stuff that was happening in the Mideast and they are flying a lot of missions out of there. And so I was just keeping an eye on what they're doing. Um, and I, know, I noted that one of the mods in there, um, I just said hi, and one of the mods in there immediately knew, knew who I was and um, had been a, a listener. Um, and I was like, the weirdest places. Like, what? This is totally random. Um, but um, it's just, um, yeah, it's great to um, to see some of, some of the old friends and um but I'm, I'm going to stay on top of this. So again, here's what, here's what I want from you, you know, come back this week, come back and hang out. Um, but don't, um, don't panic, right? Be, be prepared and, um, stay close to dad, keep your eye on things, but don't panic, right? Don't panic. And if, if something, you know, crazy does happen, we'll, we'll have our eye on it. Right. And we'll, we'll uh, keep our eye on things. Um, but in the interim, right. Uh, I think it's just, it's good to know that, um, one, it's not nothing. Right. Like, so it's, it's not a total nothing burger because, right, we know signs and seasons, days and years. Right. So, so we know it's something. They all mean something. Right. But what, what does this one mean? Well, we're going to find out. Right. And like most of the stuff, I think, as I read through Daniel and Revelation, most of it, I think I see it, it, we, we can only see it happen when it happens. Right. And that's what I'm coming through with uh, the seals. I think that we've now gotten into at least the first three and, you know, coming into the fourth seal. 
I think that's where we're at. Uh, yeah, again, um, if you follow anything on, on uh, YouTube and you see these people, right, so, uh, they'll, a bunch of people will say things like, um, oh, yeah, we're, we're into some of the seals and some of the trumpets. And they never elucidate. They never say, you know, um, you know what that is. So just saying, oh, some of the trumpets and, you know, so what, what, what? Uh, I can go through and say what each of the first three seals and four, like, what I think they are, why I think we've, we've gotten there, right? Um, because I think with the first one is the coronavirus, a crown, right? And um, he was, uh, he had a, um, a bow, right? Bow and arrow to shot. He was going to get shot. And it was given, a, right, a crown. And uh, he went out conquering as to conquer, right? So um, he went out conquering and to conquer. What did he do? That's a, that was the setup. The second seal, right, is um, that uh, to take peace from the earth. So people would slaughter one another. Uh, and a large sword was given to him. To take peace from the earth. What is happening right now, <laughs> right? Everybody's turning against each other and it's polarizing, right? And it's not even, they're not even using their heads. They're just, it's polarized. The third seal, black horse, um, th this is economic, and we certainly see that, uh, the economic stuff, and don't harm the oil and the wine, right? <laughs> so oil and luxury goods, the two biggest things that uh, they're going to protect. Um, all the other stuff, uh, they're going to let people start pretty straight. Looks like it's pretty straightforward. Fourth seal, death, right? Um, to kill by the sword, famine, plague, and wild animals. And guess what? I'm starting to see wild animals attack, right? Um, there's all sorts of... Um, uh, stuff, right? So, yeah, Kobe with the thing of the crown, right? There's all, all the symbology going on, right? And I don't feel personally like the need to dig too deep into it because there's a lot of people doing it. And um, I don't think I'm any necessarily better than them at it. I can point you to some people, you know, cause, but I don't agree with everything everybody says either. Um, there's just other people doing it and they're better at it than, than me going through all the numerology and stuff. I just watch, right? My point, like my purpose here is just bear witness to what I see, right? And point it out and go, yep, here, yep, there, yep, here, yep, right? So that's all I can do. I can tell you what I see. Um, I cannot, you know, tell you what to, what to do, right? Um, I cannot tell you, know, I can tell you what I'm going to do, like who I trust, but that doesn't mean anything to, to you. Like, don't, you know, <laughs> don't take my word for it. Um, I'm just watching, right? I'm just watching really closely. And, um, and that's why I'm here. And so, um, anyway, I'll be back tomorrow. We're going to do, I'm just going to keep picking this apart because I could go for hours and hours and hours and we only only have a week. Right. Um, so uh, a week from today um, comes this thing. And um, I think, right, it's telling us what's coming next. That's that's basically it. I think it's telling us what's coming next. Um, but we should pay attention. Right. And um, I think they know it, too. And they're making a big stink about it so that um, they're trying to scare everybody. Right. So always with the fear porn. Right. And then they'll be like, oh, boy, cried wolf. See, it's not gonna, It's not the end. We people are crazy. I'm telling you. Um, my spidey senses are telling me that it, it's, it's, it's about to get wild, right? It really is about, um, about to get wild. So, um, and, and again, I can, I, am I saying that it's going to kick off for sure? Like, no, I, I don't know that for sure. Um, but it feels like it. Hey, hey I appreciate that. Um, my friend and, um, you know, I just honestly, like, I don't, I don't even know these days like i i get so you know such self-doubt right like what am i even doing anything of value right um rarely you know hardly anybody comes anymore but, but i think I, i'm okay with it right like again i see the right people come it's about 150 <laughs> or so a week and um never all at once right um maybe 10 during the live stream and then the rest of them later um and i I do it, you know, because I get nudged through real hard, and I think Dad still um, has something to say, and, and um, that you know that I that I'm supposed to say. It. And mostly, I think that's just to bring comfort, right? And um, uh, I would love a, a talk with with Notch. I, I love that guy, um, but um, again, I I'm um, yeah. I, I think what a place that we should all be paying a, a close attention and um, and tidying up. Right, all the loose ends, and and that's where I feel uh, particularly shamed, right, and embarrassed is um, that I'm not ready, right. I guess that's that's what I was trying to get to before. Is if it happened now, I don't feel particularly ready for it. Like I'm the guy saying, "Yeah, get ready," and then um, and I feel like I'm not ready. Like I, again, I, I would be shook. Like I, I just I, I felt it today. I just looked at everything and I went, "Man, if that happened, 
right? If it, if it went down, right? Um, yeah, I would be shook. And, um, but I would recover and I would, and I would, um, I would bounce with a, a sense of purpose. And I think I would know exactly what to do next, which is better than I have right now, right? Which is, I don't know exactly what to do next other than I'll be here again tomorrow. Thanks. Um, thanks for stopping in. Um, I do have to let it go now because, um, I only have a little bit of time, um, that I can do this before, um, the sickness comes. So, um, um, hang, hang with me and, um, don't give up on me and I'll be back soon. Um, again, uh, I love you guys and thanks so much for stopping by and, uh, I'm excited. I, I think we're, I think we're getting there. Um, anyway, some old tunes, uh, from some friends of mine. Anyway, um, see you again soon. Take care.